we're going to quickly talk about the the MER. And then we're going to quickly talk about the um, the markets in the in the Oz report. All right. So um, let's talk about the monthly economic report for April 2024. It's there's not there's not that much to be to re, to report to be honest if we look at the the typical graphs so for example the production destruction and mining chart here the production was at a 5 year peak a couple of months ago it's still very high it's going down a little bit but then again we have an expansion coming so you would you would think that this is going to uh, peak again very very nicely so i think that we're going to uh, see new record production here very soon. We have big changes coming to null with new structures. We have new ships coming that are good. And so the, the production is certainly going to be uh, driven up. Mining is in a fairly good spot as well. Remember this, this, has, been, uh, this has been fixed. So this is actually a much more uh, a much more meaningful graph than it used to be and so with uh, with mining on the uptick since yeah what like last september we've basically seen a, a steady increase in mining a bit slower than the increase in production so expect uh, a lot there we have a again an expansion coming on the horizon where the large null alliances are going to have a much uh, a, a much more control about what type of ore they're going to be mining in their space. And so expect the overall amount mined to um, to certainly go up in the beginning. Everyone's going to be playing around with this. Everyone is going to be trying with this. Everyone's going to be making a lot of money because there's going to be a, uh, uh, a, a high demand for materials in the beginning due to higher production. And so... I expect there to be a lot of a lot of action here in the in the June expansion because a lot of things are are happening. Destruction is you know more or less unchanged. the The other graphs I'm I'm mostly going to skip because there's there's not there's not a lot of excitement going on uh, there. Uh, I'm going to skip straight to the uh, ISK sinks and faucets. The faucets in april were 164 trillion isk entering the game most of that uh, as 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 is always is the case via um blue loot red loot and and bounties uh, that's about an almost 100 trillion of it i'm going to pull up our typical microsoft um, power bi graph here to show how that development has gone over the last few months that way you can see, for example, the faucets are high, but they're in line with how they have been in the last six or seven months. And again, this has been, you know, there's been a lot of ISK entering uh, the game, you know, be it due to Poshvin, be it due to uh, Wormhole Blue Loot, um, or even increased uh, bounties more recently, or the Christmas uh, event. So this uh, is not, certainly not out of line, out of, um, uh out of uh, character here for the the is faucets april is is in line with the last six or seven months if we look at the sinks the same exact the exact thing there's not that much change going on there and the active isk delta which is players returning to the game or becoming inactive so coming back leaving the game and bot bans um we're seeing you know also not out of the ordinary very uh typical minus 24 trillion all right expect this to go up um significantly in the next few uh weeks or uh, months because we have an expansion coming and typically we see people returning for expansions and that means that the active isk delta is going to turn positive and that's going to increase the overall um isk in the game the money supply in the game this will this typically puts a pressure on pricing so typically we see rising prices um we have a, a, the combined effect of new content new sh new ships 
more players coming back with more ISK. So typically we see rising prices around around um, around expansions. So you know, make sure you you prepare for that if you're playing the markets. Uh, there are some things where we are already seeing down downward trending effects like for example uh, moon materials you know, we have passive moon mining being introduced uh, reintroduced in in this next expansion so certainly the the expectation is that there's going to be an oversupply or a higher supply of moon materials there so those have been under under pricing pressure and certainly things like you know uh, uh, bottlenecked minerals like isogen or maybe even megasite are probably not the place where you where you want to invest everything else that is used for these ships um these new ships these new stations these new um this new content that is coming everything else you can certainly uh invest in right now because i would expect prices to be rising rather steadily over the next few weeks um let's go back here to the mer so overall um you know not a big change in the various uh faucets we'll we'll talk about blue loot here in a second um the money supply keeps rising so we we have a a rising money supply in eve but that's that's nothing new that's been going on for for years and years and is also typical for for an mmo economy so this is this is not out of the ordinary. We are seeing a slightly positive trend in the velocity of ISK. Right? So there, there is more action going on in the game. There's more uh, ISK. Every single ISK is traded more times than it used to be. But compared to historic values, this is really uh, still quite low. So we're at every ISK um, exchanges hands only 0 0.5 times a month. Right, so uh, every ISK uh, on average tr uh, exchanges hands every every other month, which is you know not high compared to historic values. Um, the uh, economic indices, you know, we've we've come to to know that the material price index is still very very high. I mean, you know, mega site. Um, and and isogen are really uh, doing their part in that this is going to change so the 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 equinox expansion on june 11th is going to uh, certainly have a downward effect for uh, minerals at least in the long run right in the short run you never know who's going to go crazy speculating and who's going to go crazy producing the new ships um ships and structures but uh, in the end, this should have a downward effect on, on mineral prices. And certainly, because if, if you're not following it, uh, so I mentioned that briefly earlier, the new expansion is going to let alliances decide which minerals are going to spawn more in their space. And that means that if there's a bottleneck on a certain mineral, let's say isogen, then... then uh, you know, Nullsec is going to have a much, much better, um, uh, a much, much better grip on uh, supplying more of it and thereby driving the prices down. So overall, it's you know, it's more of a uh, a, a a market balancing uh, expansion. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's a it's a new tool. It's a new tool that CCP is giving alliances to be able to balance the economy uh, much more themselves. Um, and then in the end, we have, um, yeah, as Jado's, Jado44 says in chat, which means cheaper ships for everyone, be careful with that just basic assumption, because in the end, um, if everything is cheaper for everyone, then everything gets more expensive. Do you understand what I mean? So if if you have the same money supply, yeah, and and everything becomes cheaper, then that extra isk is going to be spent on those same goods, driving prices up. So it's not as simple as oh, we'll just make everything cheaper. 
it's you always have to look at it in relation to to the prices of other things so in the end um you know the 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 an increase in minerals is not auto does not automatically mean that all ships are going to be uh cheaper but you know that's a uh that's in the end an, an economic discussion that we can that we can have um, later on in the stream if you want i want to mention one thing uh, and that is um this right here so the uh the blue loot is not 20 trillion the blue loot coming out of c5 and c6 wormholes this month in april it, it's it's not 20 trillion as it was um it's uh it's now closer to 16 uh, trillion so there's been a 20 percent drop um by uh, uh, courtesy of the, the the c5 c6 wormhole war that uh, just ended though uh it seems as though so you know we'll we'll see where where this goes uh in the end you know i think just an information i've i've talked about this uh, enough that you guys all know uh my opinion on on this and you know i i think it's um it's uh it's it's an it's an it's an it's an issue um but that you know it's going to be fixed eventually I forgot what living in high sec is like, and now it seems scary to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, C5 wormholes are good isk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it certainly, it, it certainly is. All right. Um, so that's the MER for uh, April 2024. And we're going to move over to the Oz report to talk about the actual EVE markets in 